Today, we will take a full tour of the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island in New York Harbor. These two iconic sites are one of the top things to do and see in New York City and truly encapsulate the spirit of liberty, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness in the United States. We will show you how to get there, what to see, and how to best plan your trip to these must-see destinations. Hey everyone, so today we are exploring the famous Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island here in New York City. So you're gonna start in Lower Manhattan, right? So you're gonna start in Battery Park. Battery Park is a beautiful park. Um, it's right by like Wall Street and the Bull and all of that. So I highly recommend if you're going to go to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island, you group those two neighborhoods together. We also have a video on uh, Lower Manhattan and Wall Street. So check that out as well. Now, like I said, you start in Battery Park. Um, I would not drive here. You definitely should take the subway or a cab. Um, the Bowling Green four and, four and five train stop here, as well as the um, R train stops at South Ferry. So I highly recommend doing that. There's nowhere to park around here. Um, so you buy your ticket in a site called Castle Clinton. Now, interestingly, Castle Clinton is a site in itself. Uh, Castle Clinton was the site and the immigration center uh, for immigrants arriving in America between the 1850s to 1890, right? So anything after 1890, any immigrants arriving after 1890 arrived um, through Ellis Island, which we're going to see. So definitely check that out as well. Um, it has a fascinating history. There's a little museum in there and it's actually the place where you buy the ticket. Um, you can buy the ticket uh, on site here in Castle Clinton or you can buy it online ahead of time. Um, I recommend you do that uh, just because, you know, they don't always have tickets. It's one of the most um, sought out attractions in New York City and in the United States. So I highly recommend you get your ticket ahead of time. Um, you have a couple options. You can go to the crown of the Statue of Liberty. You can go to the pedestal or you can just do general admission where you go to Liberty Island. Now, you have to take a boat there. There's no way of walking there, there's no subway. You have to take a boat there, right? And the boat leaves from Lower Manhattan, Battery Park, like I said. Um, you go through airport-style security, so make sure you're prepared for that. Try to arrive at least, at least 15 minutes ahead of time before your boat is uh, scheduled to leave, which is usually on the hour of every hour. Um, the next thing you want to know is that it stops at two stops. It first stops at uh, Liberty Island, and then you get off, or you could stay on and go straight to Ellis Island. Um, then from there, you could explore Ellis Island, and after Ellis Island, it comes back to Lower Manhattan. Now, you don't have to always get in Manhattan. I'm just doing Manhattan because that's where probably 90% of you are going to get the ferry from. You could also get it from the New Jersey side. Um, there's also a New Jersey ferry too, so check that out if that's more convenient for you. Also on this tour, we're going to explore some tips and tricks for navigating this, this site because it is daunting because there's so many people that want to go to this. So let's begin. You will begin your journey on the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island Ferry. The boats are equipped with a snack bar, souvenir shop, and bathroom facilities. As you cruise the harbor, you will take in beautiful vistas of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and New Jersey before finally ending up at your first stop on Liberty Island. It is interesting because while on the boat packed with tourists, you almost put yourself in the shoes of what the immigrants first saw when they entered the United States in the pursuit of a new life. on Liberty Island. So once you get off the boat, the first thing I recommend you do is to check out the museum, which is behind me. So this museum is very moving. Um, there are tons of exhibits where you can learn more about the Statue of Liberty, her history, and what it means to America. Um, you go in, there's a movie, uh, there's tons of little things that show you uh, the Statue of Liberty and how it has been portrayed throughout the media and throughout movies and everything like that. Um, another thing that's interesting from this point is you can get a 45 minute free uh, guided tour from a park ranger and they'll teach you all about uh, Liberty Island, the Statue of Liberty, her story, um, and how it contributes to American freedom and liberty. Um, the other thing that you can do here is you can see the original torch. So the torch that's on the Statue of Liberty now is not the original. The original is in the museum. So check that out. Take a couple minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's really 
a good starting point for your journey here on Liberty Island. So here we are in front of the iconic American landmark of the Statue of Liberty, also known as Liberty Enlightening the World. So this statue really represents what it means to be an American and it has grown to become an iconic symbol of liberty and freedom in this country. So all immigrants arriving from across the Atlantic after 1886 would have seen her. So really what fascinates me about that is imagine coming across the Atlantic on a long boat ride, probably gross, dirty, cramped, right? One to two weeks across the Atlantic and then coming into New York Harbor and seeing this beautiful representation of what it means to live in this new world, right? You know, the Statue of Liberty welcomes immigrants. It's inscripted on its pedestal, right? So imagine going from a country where you're facing economic strife and troubles and political problems, right? Religious intolerance and then coming to the United States and really feeling for the first time freedom represented by this beautiful statue. The Statue of Liberty proudly stands tall in New York Harbor and proves to convey a message of freedom and hope. The large copper statue was a gift from the French and serves as a beacon of democracy. It was designed by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and dedicated in 1886. Lady Liberty holds a torch in one hand and a table in the other inscribed with the date of American independence. Her awe-inspiring presence, radiant crown, and majestic robe proves to represent enlightenment and the ideals of liberty embracing those who are seeking a new beginning in America. Okay, we have landed here on Ellis Island. So Ellis Island was the immigration processing center for all immigrants arriving from across the Atlantic, so mostly Europe, to New York from 1890 to about the 1950s. So when you go in the museum, you learn all about how the immigrants were processed when they came off the boats and then how they made their way into New York and further into America. Um, so. The museum is fascinating because you could really feel how people felt when they landed right here on American shores for the first time. Uh, what else is great about it is it teaches you about the immigrant experience. So it teaches you about you know the, what boats they took to get here once they arrived, how they dispersed further into New York and to other parts of the country. Um, you learn about how they got jobs and then you learned about how they kind of really settled in American cities and um, assimilated into American culture. So it really is a fascinating thing to see when you're here in New York. So let's head in. You begin your journey in the baggage room, and this is the place that the immigrants would have first gathered as they waited for processing with their baggage. As you continue in the museum, check out the attractive exhibits that tell the story of how America was settled from the advent of the New World up until modern times. Learn about where the immigrants came from, why people would choose to emigrate in the first place, how they settled in American cities and the countryside and the struggles and triumphs they faced in the following decades after making the big trip across the Atlantic. The most important room in Ellis Island is the registry room. This is the actual room that the immigrants would have been processed and admitted into the United States or sent back to their home country. Most were admitted at about 98%, but there still was a significant amount of people who were sent back usually due to poor health, questionable records, or for lack of a financial plan. You can still feel the energy the immigrants would have felt in this room awaiting to see if they'd be admitted into the new world and admitted into their new life.
The exhibits around the registry room offer the visitor a look into how immigrants were processed during the peak immigration years of 1890 to the 1920s. Here you can learn all about their stories and the struggles they face in the pursuit of attaining a better life. Here you can see how they arrived with actual tickets of the steamliners they used to cross the Atlantic. You can learn all about the different ports that they went to. New York was the biggest, but a lot of people were processed in others too. You can see how immigrants traveled to other cities, usually by rail, such as Philadelphia, Boston, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, and many others, essentially populating further into the American interior. Also learn about anti-immigrant beliefs that existed during the time and also about the jobs that these immigrants took when they arrived. Finally, you will get a glimpse into the lives that they lived, usually very low income, when they first arrived to their new homes in the United States. So one thing I really find fascinating about Ellis Island is it really has a governmental public kind of feel, right? You can smell it. It smells like a public governmental building, almost like a public school. So it's almost like the remains of the history of this place are still here. You could feel it as you walk through. The museum also offers an exhibit displaying artifacts of immigrants' belongings. This helps you get a sense of the style of the time as well as what they cherished and loved. Also, it is believed that the first teddy bear in existence is here on display. Make sure you check out the dormitory room. This is the room that would have temporarily housed, denied, or pending processing immigrants if they were not initially accepted into the United States. If you're interested in learning more about your family's passage to the United States, you can conduct that research right here at Ellis Island. You pay $10 to browse their records for 30 minutes. I would, however, know some things about your family's immigration, such as their full names, their country of origin, approximate dates of immigration, and who they were traveling with. This is especially true if you have a common last name. Otherwise, you may just be wasting your time and money. We are now back in Manhattan and Battery Park. So once you leave Ellis Island, it's about a 15 minute boat ride. So it's pretty short and half of that includes getting on and off the boat. Um, listen guys, I had an amazing time showing you guys Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. And I think what's so great about these two destinations is it really represents how immigration has shaped America and how this country has grown through the hard work and determination of immigrants from all around the world. And if you're interested in the immigrant story, I highly recommend you check out my Lower East Side video. So that kind of discusses once they got off the boat and were processed through Ellis Island, where they went. So the Lower East Side is a big neighborhood where they went here in New York City right after that. You can kind of see how they lived and how they lived in this new neighborhood and this new world. Listen guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video, share this video, leave me your comments below, leave me your tips and tricks and any questions you may have. 
Okay, until next time, take care.